Ayo. And just like that, two medals in the bag. A gift from Kingston College to you, Jamaica. Yeah, I want to puppy. Welcome, Sports Nation, to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views, and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial, and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports Sports DTM. Greetings, Sports DTM fans, and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, your channel of undiluted sports content. The Jamaican men in the long jump history. The first time we're having two men on the podium, silver and bronze for Jamaica in the men's long jump. Raymond, talk to me. How do you feel about this? Yo, I'm excited, Kurt. Believe me. Um, just to see that two medals after, after the field events. We almost got a sweep. So don't forget even um, McLeod at fourth. He had a chance to actually go on the medal. So Tajay Gale's barely clipping. But it's good to see them on the, on the medal for him. Two, two, three. Excellent. Ricky, it was an exciting long jump um, final. The Jamaicans were in the top four from the first round. And they kept it that way. The very last jump um, snatched the gold medal from Pinnock, as well as Tajay Gale chomping McLeod for that bronze medal. I mean, it was epic to see the Jamaicans displaying their talent like that. Yeah, Kurt, it was it was um, a marvel to watch. You know, seeing when when they showed the long jump, and I saw Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica. I'm like, what? Like, you know, it's a shocker just to see Jamaica name. You know, when I say that in a hundred meter, but seeing it in a field event, especially the long jump, is a, is it's really a good feeling. Yeah, I'm I'm just going to share the the, the, the top four with, with you, Raymond. As you mentioned, Tengolo, the Greek athlete in his last last jump, 852. He was in the silver medal spot and count back, but he did his season's best to, to snatch this gold medal. We talk about having to do personal best and season's best in the finals if you want to get a medal. And even though we're a little disappointed that Jamaica didn't get this gold medal, he came out the Olympic um, champion. This is the only gold medal that he hasn't won, and he, he displayed some experience to snatch that gold medal. Yeah, Kurt, he and Wang was some of the persons that we were expecting to stop on the Jamaican reign in this event. And, and he left it late. It could have actually went the other way. He, he, he himself wasn't certain if it was a, was a fair jump. And, was, and we all stood there, stand there wondering if it was foul. And some persons were hoping that it was foul for Jamaica's sake. But once again, it shows us his class and his tenacity to bring it out. And his last moment, nine, clutch. Steph Curry type stuff here and um and got the got the goal. But nonetheless, Pinnock, excellent, excellent performance. We can't discount that at all. I mean, when, when Pinnock was going for his last jump, Ricky, we, we we our fingers were crossed. He looked zoning and looked like he was going to take back that lead, but in the last jump, it didn't happen. But an excellent silver medal um for him. Yes, Kurt. Uh, he he tried his very best. You know, he was sprinting full speed down the runway. You know, when he made that jump, I, I was up. I was up, you know, hoping, but it was not meant to be like to be like that. But it was a good display, nonetheless. Uh, again, I say it's not very often you see the Jamaican flag in uh, uh, an event like this and so this speaks speaks um volumes for the jamaican field event um posture going forward uh, and raymond just to, to think about Sajay gale, Tajay gale getting a bronze medal and uh, we, we were hoping that they would have shared the bronze but in 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 these field events they don't count back and second best 
jump and all of that to determine who places yeah. third or fourth. Yeah. But just to think about Kajay Gill having to fight off all those injuries. I mean, we saw him in the Olympics pretty much trying to jump on one leg. World Championship last year was similar. And to come back and to be on the podium and doing his season's best. We talk about having to do your season's best and personal best. He did his season's best to push his teammate into fourth place. Yeah, Tajay Gill is, is, uh, seems to have a lot of experience how he handled this one. Um, in the earlier rounds, seemed a little bit out of it. However, he saved his best for land. So, it, so he kept increasing as the rounds went on. And so he was able to eclipse his, his teammate, McLeod. And, and this is the first time in a long while we hated the count back. And um, you could see that Tajay Gill never really celebrated it because you know what it meant for his teammate who had worked hard to be on the podium, he would be the one replacing him. And so they were wondering if there were any chance if they could actually replace the, the Greek. But he was so far ahead that it, that, was, that was never the case. Uh, and Ricky, for, for McLeod, um, tough not being on the podium, but he actually did an extremely good series of jump. It was a, a proud moment for Jamaica, as you mentioned before, uh, we see in the flag. Um, top four and three Jamaicans are there in a long jump event. This is the first time in history that Jamaica is getting two medals in a long jump men's final in either the World or the Olympic Games. This is an excellent achievement by the jumpers. Yes, Kurt. And um, I'm sure Kerry McLeod is proud of his achievement also. And we're looking for big things for all the jumpers going forward, even the ladies. fans out there let us hear from you what's your thoughts on this uh, excellent silver and bronze medal and a fourth place finish for the jamaican we were hoping for a sweep we, we almost did it almost did it so but there are great potential in the jump for jamaica and we're extremely proud of the athletes two medal we can't ask for more two or three we can't ask for more so let us know how you feel by leaving your comments in the comment section below and always remember to like, to share, and to subscribe. And to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell all of them friends to come and join the Sports DTM family. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Raymond, Ricky, and I signing out, saying, be blessed.